Morning, noobs. We've cooked a lot of great dinners on this show. But what about the other meals, you ask? Like lunch, brunch, dessert, breakfast, high tea, second breakfast, nooners, midnight snacks, afternoon delights, and the commercially available fourth meal. Well, today we're gonna kill two birds with one baked good as we make glazed carrot raisin muffins. Clearly these muffins won't kill any birds unless frozen and hurled with deadly accuracy, but they can be classified as two different meals. In fact, in today's world, breakfast and dessert are becoming more and more alike. Just go to your grocery store and look at all the cinnamon buns, cookie crisps, and pop-tarts available. These muffins straddle the fine line between muffinhood and cupcakedom, but whichever category they fall into, they're guaranteed delicious and low fat. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, use a real oven. If you use an easy bake oven, you will melt it. Place liners in 12 muffin cups. If you don't have liners, feel free to grease them instead. For grease, I recommend non-fat cooking spray, though some people prefer John Travolta. Either way, don't use too much. Both are known to cause diarrhea. Take a box of dry carrot cake mix. Half a cup agua. That's water for those who know habla espanol. Two eggs, chicken or yoshi, and mix together in a large bowl. What's that? A 10 and 3 quarters ounce can of Campbell's condensed 25% less sodium tomato soup? This must be the wrong clip. The editor must be drunk. Nope, the clip is right. To quote Disney's Aladdin, do you trust me? Mix it into the batter until moderately smooth. You know, like Joey from Full House. Then fold in half a cup of raisins. Here's a bit of trivia. California raisins don't actually sing. They lip sync. Divide the batter equally between muffin cups. Now bake for 20 minutes or until a toothpick poked into the center comes out clean as Chevy Chase fresh out of rehab. Now for the icing on the cake. Literally, unless you're a Nazi, diabetic, or diabetic Nazi, everyone loves frosting. But usually, it's devoid of any nutritional value. Well, here's a trick that will change all that. Or some of it, at least. You still need some sugar. Powdered, one cup to be precise. Take roughly three tablespoons unsweetened apple juice. After all, an apple a day will keep the doctor away, provided the doctor is allergic to apples. Gradually mix the apple juice into the sugar until smooth. Only use as much apple juice as you need. Do not spread your glaze over hot muffins. Besides sounding really dirty, the glaze won't stick. What you need to do is take your muffins out when they're cooked and let them cool on a plate. Then frost them. Served with fresh fruit, this is part of a complete breakfast. Or a dessert! With these delightful muffins, it's hard to have just one. Which is cool because they're only two grams of fat each. Just like Julia Stiles' breasts.